Hello everybody, this is uh, General Yanis and today in Death Car Tactics I'm taking a, a brief look at the AdMech new weapon stats and some interesting developments that could be influencing um, our Death Card units and um, in general uh, in some interesting new weapon rules here. So let's get started. So today the 14th of April and Warhammer community revealed yesterday some upcom upcoming new improved rules for AdMech uh, weapons. Already now AdMech has some nice uh, shooting weapons uh, and, and units, uh, but now we see some upgrades to the Twin Cognis Last Cannon and the Arc Rifles, which is the special weapon for the ADMEC troops. So how do these new weapons perform and how efficient are they versus Death Guard units? Uh, let's take a look. So looking at the weapon stats for the Twin uh, Cognis Last Cannon, the, the, uh, and that can be taken by the Iron Strider or, or Chicken Walker, I've, I've heard the name. So very, very uh, slim legs here, and then a Skitari sitting up here uh, shooting the, the, this weaponry. Looks looks quite quite an interesting uh, build and a fun looking model, let's say. But uh, the Twin Cognis Last Cannon has, has gotten some uh, brutally good stats now and offers much more consistent damage. Uh, so before it was a, a D6 weapon, now it becomes the, the, the maybe the new favorite of Games Workshop, the D3 plus 3. For the heavy weaponry, so this is uh, similar to the to the entropy cannon. Uh, so it it uh, the normal last cannon, of course, is still doing the D6 damage. Uh, so so of course this is a a, a big upgrade uh, and consistency of the damage. Also with its strength nine, it's wounding even our plague scrollers on a three plus. So overall, it's a better weapon than our entropy cannon. The entropy cannon also has a very nice damage. But with only strength 8, we are wounding less efficiently against toughness 8 targets. And also, it's uh, funny enough, it's an assault weapon, so it, it fits better to a heavy weapon. But now it means that the Iron Striders could advance and shoot with only minus 1 to hit before they could advance, but uh, hit with, um, with minus 2 to hit to the rolls. Uh, and the other option of the Iron Strider, the Twin Cognis Autocannon, uh, has gotten an improvement in the number of shots. So from a heavy four, it also becomes an assault weapon and it's an assault six weapon uh, with strength seven, AP minus one and damage two. So this damage two weapon could be good against marine armies and other armies, but not death guard with our disgusting resilience. The damage two weapons are, are, are not the way to go um, versus our armies. So let's look uh, on the, the Twin Cognis Last Cannon, how uh, those, does, those do, do the weapons perform across the General Yanis 31 targets. And I here I don't consider any other buffs or rerolls considered, and I'm assuming a 3 plus ballistic skill. So the blue is the, sick, the, 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 blue is the Twin Cognis Last Cannon with two shots, and the orange is the Twin Cognis Auto Cannon with six shots. And we can see that especially against vehicles uh, with a good armor save, but not invul save, the Twin Cognis Last Cannon, uh, not point corrected here, can do, uh, let's say, uh, three, four wounds uh, uh, on average uh, versus some tough vehicles. So it's quite interesting. Um, and, and, and of course, uh, in less efficient against uh, targets with invul saves. And then uh, comparing the Cognis Last Cannon uh, to see what type of damage it would be doing versus Death Guard units. And here again, I, I'm not considering any other buffs or rerolls, uh, considering just the, the normal 3 plus uh, ballistic skill. And here I'm comparing the, the, how many shots it would take to kill a, a certain uh, model here and comparing to other heavy weaponry like the Last Cannon, the Entropy Cannon, the Melta or the Melta at half range. And now the Cognis Last Cannon, uh, it's uh, currently the most dangerous anti-vehicle weapon analyzed so far uh, for our heaviest uh, Toughness 8 units, uh, apart, for example, from Volkites and stuff like that, that can do uh, mortal wounds uh, that, that could be even more lethal, let's say. Um, but at least the, the Army Fittic Light Holders could use the stratagem to half the, the amount of shots from the Twin Cognis Last Cannon. But we can see, see here that uh, the Cognis Last Cannon, 10, 10 shots uh, would take out a Plague Scroller on average, 
and this is better than melta shots or melta at half range or even entropy cannons due to the strength nine but something like a mephitic blight holder or a terax drill where they are wounding uh, equally to the entropy cannon then the entropy cannons are better because it's a plague weapon with uh, re-rolling ones to wound but overall quite a quite a quite a a significant threat to our, our heavy units here. So uh, looking also at the arc rifle, so this is the special weapon for the Skitari troops and elite choices. Uh, so now the new rules, uh, uh, this, this weapon becomes quite interesting and I actually also like how, how this weapon looks. Uh, so now it's um, a 30 inch range, strength six, AP minus two and damage D3. Uh, so the strength 6 and AP minus 2 uh, is good as an anti-death card weapon, uh, but the damage D3, of course, is not super scary uh, with our disgusting resilience, but uh, an unsaved shot could kill a Plague Marine uh, if, a, if a 3 wounds uh, is, is rolled, but it can never kill a, uh, one of our Terminators outright. So here in this example, I'm looking at the five Skitaris uh, with two arc rifles uh, rapid firing. These are the rules they have today that the two, only two of them can take this special weapon. And, um, and uh, j just the arc rifles would be doing one and a half wound, so they could maybe kill one Plague Marine. Uh, taking uh, With the other Skitaris uh, taking the Galvanic rifles, together they would be doing 2.2 wounds, so they would be able to kill a Plague Marine with their shooting. And the Galvanic Rifle also has increased the AP and becomes a heavy two weapon with a 30 inch range. And the Arc Rifle itself has a special rule against vehicles. So the, the damage is increased versus vehicles. So it becomes a damage three weapon instead of a D3 weapon. And so with our Disgusting Resilience, so this comes down to a, to a two. And the wound... Um, and the wounds always, um, the wound roll always uh, wounds at an unmodified four plus, so making it a threat um, for for even tough vehicles uh, from low cost troops. So, for example, the the unit of five Skitari with uh, two arc rifles, rapid fire. The two ra arc rifles would be doing um, almost two wounds on a plague scroller and three wounds on a defiler that doesn't have uh, the disgusting resilience. So this is, seems like a cheap weapon uh, for, for some, some not, not so expensive troops that can uh, still pose a threat and, and chip off a few wounds from tough vehicles. So uh, some summary and final thoughts from this early analysis. Uh, it looks like the Adeptus Mechanicus is getting some nice weapons. Uh, of course, we don't know the other rules yet and the point cost, etc. And many times, uh, as we saw in the reveals for Death Card uh, rules, uh, a Games Workshop giveth and a Games Workshop taketh afterwards. Uh, so some things that looked very impressive, maybe with point cost and rules, were not as impressive um, after all. So that, but it looks uh, from these stats that the twin Cogni's last cannons will likely be a high threat to our uh, heavy vehicles like the Playbear Scrollers and the Defiler, and our other vehicles with this high D3 plus 3 damage profile and the high strength of 9. The Arc Rifles improved stats make them more dangerous uh, for our, our more elite type of troops like the Plague Marines, and they are also able. Uh, to deliver some wounds to our vehicles uh, with their always uh, wounding on a 4+. plus. Uh, so this uh, concludes the rather short video here with the new weapons. Uh, what do you think about these new weapons from Admech and have you been facing Adeptus Mechanicus today and uh, how have you been faring with the new Death Card? Please leave some comments and um, if you are an Adeptus Mechanicus player, please leave some comment of some synergies you believe you could use with these weapons. Of course, I didn't want to include any stratagems or any rules right now because this is probably some of the things that would change with the new upcoming codex of Adeptus Mechanicus. Uh, so with this, uh, yeah, so if you like this video, please press like and uh, leave some comments and subscribe to the channel where I will be bringing you more content for Death Guard and other Warhammer armies. And if you want to support my efforts, please visit my Patreon page uh, where you can um, get a bit more exclusive material and where you also can uh, yeah, join the discussion of the roadmap and next videos. 
So with these uh, words, uh, General Yan is signing out. Stay safe out there and bye-bye.